Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today I am not glam because I'm going to be glamming a little later because I have to film the podcast tonight. So I'm going to do that this afternoon so my makeup will be a little more fresh. No need for makeup because today we are going to be doing a clean with me video. I've been posting more and more like cleaning Sunday reset videos on my Instagram and so many of you have requested for me to do a like full version of that on my channel so that's what this is. We're doing a clean with me. I might do some of it like um without background music and just let you guys listen to me cleaning. I personally prefer that method if I'm watching a YouTube video. We'll see in editing. Maybe I'll do some with music, some not. I'm rambling. It's time to clean. So my kitchen's kind of a mess. We're gonna start in the kitchen. We're gonna clean the bedroom. We're gonna clean the closet. Um, and let's just jump right in and get started, shall we? Be sure and smash that subscribe button before you leave. And give this video a thumbs up if it gave you a little motivation or if you just like enjoyed watching. Cause I personally, sometimes when I watch these videos, I'm like, oh, God, let me get up and clean. And then sometimes I'm like, this was just so relaxing to watch, so. Let's start with the dishes. The haunting dishes. My outfit's so random, by the way. I'm wearing this like fleecy coat and I'm wearing it because it's so cold in my house, but I finished working out. So I was like hot and now I'm cold. These are dishes I did last night. My chartreuse board. I don't even know where I'm gonna store this. It's so big. I love these. These are my drying pads. I bought them at Home Goods, and whenever I wash the dishes myself, I always set them to dry on this. So this is the cleaner I use for my counters because they are marble. Okay, now I'm gonna clean off the big island. It um, it actually gets shockingly dirty. Like it looks clean, but it is not. For one tip that my mom actually told me is to always, always, always clean your counters before your floors because you can kind of just clean up any food or anything that falls off the counter onto the floor while you're sweeping or vacuuming. So that is why I always do a good counter wipe down before I clean the floors. I like to get this table a wipe down with this cleaner because it's like multi-surface, so it's good for wood too. And I just do a super light spritz, a little wipe down, it's my water, 
I was trying to film it from like here, but like look how backlit it is. It looks so dark and shadowy. I was like, okay, not gonna work. I'm trying to get the angles for you guys, but sometimes it's a struggle, y'all. A little blush aesthetic. Let's plug that real quick. Blush aesthetic. Get it now. I gotta put this away. I got these little rustic Christmas trees from McGee & Co. And I just kind of set them there. I will say I did not do an A-plus job of decorating my house for Christmas this year. It's still a work in progress. I don't even know like if I'm gonna be able to finish it. This year got me stressed out. I'm not gonna lie. This year got me stressed out. So this is the Christmas I'm serving. Okay, now I'm gonna be cleaning this space. This is my living room. I normally straighten it up every single morning that I wake up. I'll like run through and straighten it up. So that's kind of what's happening now. And I'll give this coffee table a little wipe down. So let's get started. I finally lost the fleece trench coat. Um, I got worm moving around. I got this chunky throw at Target, but I'm actually gonna take it upstairs and throw it in the wash because we use this blanket, everyone uses it, everyone lays on it, and so I try to wash it like pretty regularly. Once or twice a week, I'll take our Chom Chom. This removes pet hair and then you just open it and all the hair will be in there. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna chomp chomp the couch. Again, I do it like once or twice a week just cause we have four cats. And then I'm gonna show you how much hair. Come, look, it looks really clean. Just watch. All of this came off the couch. I can't make this up. This was on the couch hidden. I'm telling you the Chom Chom, it like gets more hair than you could ever even imagine that's on your furniture. That came off my couch. But the thing is, I'm telling you, if you just like sat on my couch or saw it, you would not assume there was any hair on it. Amazing. So now we're gonna Febreze. I love spraying my furniture with this. the craziest thing just happened I was cleaning out this blanket basket and I got to the bottom of it and I found my wallet I have been missing my wallet for like over a month I've even called stores there's a sock ignore that but I've even called stores I've done everything I've torn my house apart my car apart the wallet was in the bottom of the basket I have no idea how I got there 
But you guys don't even know like how happy I am right now. All right, I just threw the blankets back in. I folded them. These like bolche looking ones are from Target. And then I found this little plaid one at Home Goods. I thought it was cute. We love getting cozy in here. Oh, and this space looks so good. Cat's scratch pad, which saves my couch. And so now we're gonna move upstairs, I think. So this is all clean. Welcome to my bathroom. My bathroom. I mix bathroom and bedroom together. Welcome to my bedroom. We're gonna make the bed. I just need to tidy up in here. Honestly, this room is not that bad. My closet is a little worse. It's always a little worse, but it's like not that bad. So I'm just gonna tidy up. We're gonna start with making the bed. I'm gonna put you here. bed is made looks pretty good um so now i'm gonna jump to my closet where i told you a little more of a mess honestly always a mess i normally clean this just like once a week just like do an overhaul lighting just like do like an overhaul in here for my mess throughout the week it just is a method that works for me and like my lifestyle but i understand if that would drive some of you crazy i don't mind it First, we're gonna start with my island. <laughs> and I'm gonna put away this onesie. I was gonna wear it for a full coverage episode, but I found a sweater that I liked a little bit better. So we're not gonna need her right now, maybe later. This is an adorable coat from my boutique, Nudie Patootie. And it's sold out, so I am sorry for that. Then we have this cowgirl jacket. I wore this in an episode of full coverage and so many people in the comments were like, where is that from? And this is where it's from, but that's like the name of the store. But this was originally Erin's and she was like donating clothes. And I was like, what are you donating? And I looked through her pile and I saw this jacket in there and I was like, oh, no ma'am. I was like, can I have that please? And she was like, I got and I was like all right it's mine so I love it I can't believe she's gonna get rid of it Okay, so this is my outfit I'm gonna wear today. So I'm just going, whenever I am filming and all. Um, so I'm just going to put it aside. This tank from 30 years is so cute. I wear it all the time. This is an actual dress. so thin and stretchy I'm like I don't know I think it's definitely gonna get hanger marks so
Okay, these are my Christmas sweaters. I'm gonna leave those there because we're gonna be wearing those soon. And then these are some new pants I wanna wear soon, so I kinda wanna leave these out so I remember to wear them. I know that's terrible, but like, Sometimes if I have like my newest stuff out, I won't just run and grab my go-to old stuff. I'll like try to experiment with new clothing. That's just my philosophy. Now I have this <laughs> that I need to clean up too. Okay, so I kind of organized everything out of the bag into piles of stuff I need to put away, like shoes and just clothing and whatnot. So now I'm gonna just put everything away and then I have to get all this. It kind of just like spews down the stairs, I guess. So now I'm just like, let me just get it all off the floor, right? And so now I'm just like putting it all away. I got this little cute holiday set I'm gonna wear um, from Revolve. So cute. Okay, why was that so hard to get onto the hanger? This is Katie, it's brand 30 years for a new set. These are super cute, I love this color shorts they're super nice and then this is the matching sweatshirt which i'm about to snap it right now i think this is also so cute to go with it like a little outfit this is the worst full job i've ever done so please don't judge me way too many fragrances up here again but um i normally like to keep like four or five and then i'll like use them and set them out and then i get too many out here this is a new favorite of mine this one's by mason margiela this is autumn vibes so good it's really warm and then this one is a hit or miss for some people i like it it's called by the fireplace but some people's like it's too fireplacey this is probably like my favorite. It's called Beach Walk. It's really light, airy, kind of smells like a salty beach day, which is like interesting. All their fragrances are like quite interesting. And then we have Springtime in the Park, super floral. And then we have Coffee Break, which is like warm, almost, I almost want to say vanilla-y, but um, a little sweet, a little warm. It's unisex. And then there are my perfumes. Let's try, I need to turn them like this so we can see this one's really good it smells like a really spicy rose which is so interesting the lid is also like giving all the drama okay now this is cute and then we could put more can you imagine <gasps> yes gorgeous Okay, the closet looks so much better. So now, oh my God. This is where I got ready last night. By the way, it's a new day. You're probably like, why does she keep changing clothes? Like, what is the deal? Um, sweats are my uniform at home, <laughs> especially in our winter months in SoCal. But this is my mess I left behind. Um, these are all clean brush, uh, all clean brushes. And yeah, this is like the bathroom that goes to my beauty room. <laughs> Don't look, that, that's another mission. But we're about to clean all this up. Also, I just wanted to say um, it's been about a year, believe it or not, since we cleaned out these drawers. And I feel like we're getting close to time because look at them now. You know how they fill up? They just fill up after about a year. We need to go, I need to go through them way more than once a year. Like that's a little, that's a little crazy. But 
I think it's like time. It's time for us to do our annual makeup clean out video. I'm thinking I can, last time it took me like four videos. I think this time I can get it done in two because I'm not keeping nearly as much stuff. So, uh, let me know if you want to see that soon. Let me know in the comments. Let's clean this bathroom. <laughs> can you believe it's another day? I'm like, wow, this video is just going on and on. I love it. I think I'm gonna set you here so you can join me. I'm going to put this in my kitchen. So this is my root cover up. I got this off Amazon. It is the best root concealer I've ever used. They have it in a bunch of shades, but I use dark brown. But my um, hairstylist, um, the girl who does my hair, she put me onto this because this is what she used. I have gray hair, so I like to use this to cover it. And I just bought a two pack. It's kind of pricey on Amazon though. It was like. 40 something dollars for two. I don't know, I feel like that was a little much. Almost $50 for two, but it works really, really, really well. So if you're interested, this is my deodorant I've been enjoying recently. about to wash some brushes. This is the cleaner I'm gonna be using today. I think I bought this in the VIB sale, so I really like it. And then this is a little dish I got at Five and Below that I like to wash the brushes in. to like wash a few of them at one time and then I'll rinse them at once. It kind of just makes the process a little faster.
this little container I keep on the counter. If you're wondering why I just randomly have this there and I just drop dirty brushes in it like throughout the week. And normally like on Sunday reset, whenever, that's what today is by the way, Sunday for me. I'll go through and like prep on clean all my brushes for the following week. So we're good to go with fresh clean brushes for our face all week. So just kind of keep that right there. And then every time I wash my brushes, it leaves like a makeup film down into the sink. And it's like, you'll just see like cakes of brown and like, mess from the brush washing so i always keep this magic eraser in here to go through and be able to clean the sink right after i do my brushes on sunday so we have our brushes clean they're just gonna be chilling here drying on this towel and these are my spoolies since i use the brow pomade it kind of gets caked in them so i like to drop them down in the sink and let the water kind of melt the um, product out of it so that's what i was doing whenever i was throwing them in the sink and this place looks a lot better. That is hair extensions. We're gonna ignore that today. And uh, we did it. Okay, and lastly, this is my backdrop. I got this new Tom Ford book in from Amazon. And I'm just gonna kind of like zhuzh this up a little bit and like restyle it. I added some Christmas decor for the background because I'm gonna be filming tomorrow. So just to get this ready for tomorrow. Guys, look what I found. I found a little kitty. Hi. I love you. You can put it over whatever you want from H&M and I just think it's so cute. So I just have this piece of sage with a crystal on it and it just looks pretty back here. If you think I'm like staging stuff oddly, it's because it like fits in the screen on YouTube. So that's why this is like oddly pushed over. So there's kind of like a meaning why I'm doing decorating like this because I need it to fit on camera if that makes sense. Alrighty, this is it for now. This little tree lights up I got it at Target. I may adjust it a little bit more depending on what it looks like on video, but I like layers of things and to be kind of full and warm in the background. So that's kind of why I have it here. Now this is like a Christmas edition going on, but this is it. I know it doesn't look like normal <laughs> with all this stuff on it, but I'm telling you as a backdrop, it's really pretty. So, we just have some books from Amazon. Got some of the stuff at Lulu in Georgia. I think I got both of these. Target. I got her Amazon. It's really pretty. I saw another YouTuber talking about it in Amazon Favorites. And I was like, I wonder if this is nice. It actually is. And then this is full of the Gucci lipsticks. This was sent in PR. I got these reindeer at Crate and Barrel. And then those, I always get questions about where this came from. This came from the Pompous Shop. They're on Instagram. If you're local to LA, you can get an arrangement made. So pretty. Some books. And then this candle is by Jo Malone. And I always just have a candle lit up here. So the holidays are ready. Okay, guys, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I have a bit more to do, but I want to like save the rest of this for our beauty room clean out and like dive into that on another day when we're dedicating to spending the whole day in the beauty room. So be on the lookout for that. If you're interested, be sure and let me know. But other than that, that is it. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button before you leave. Bye guys.